Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm reacting to the Dynasty Mode Deep Dive trailer within College Football 25. It releases on Friday. I'm getting excited. This one was a lot of fun to watch, to listen to the trailer, to kind of see what's coming into the mode. A lot of cool things are coming and I'm getting really excited. If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe and the bell on my channel to see more of my content. Hope y'all have had a good day so far. Hope you keep having a good day. And I'll see you again tomorrow. Alright, here we go. I got another exciting one today. As I react to the last trailer for College Football 25. This one, the Dynasty Deep Dive. And I'm excited for this one. Just like this past one, uh, Friday, not Wednesday. Friday, when I was excited to react to the Sights and Sounds trailer. Because how, how much I love the stadium atmosphere with the fans and the intros and the crazy celebrations and everything going on around that this one when it comes to the game version not really like real life college football this one has a lot of changes from um ncaa football 14 when e sports i believe e sports made that one also when they made 14 this one has so many different changes to it because of the real life things going on if you haven't followed the real life news kind of going on this past off season within college football, there's a lot of changes, and I did not mean to do that. There's a lot of changes, um, and they're getting put to the forefront in this game. If you've watched college football all year and you've heard some of the news, I'm not going to spoil it because I want you guys to react. Not really with me being my first time seeing this. I've seen this like two times now, but. I want you to react with me, um, and it's it's crazy. I can't wait. I don't know why I'm. I keep talking. We're getting right into this bad boy. Kirk, once again, is going to be talking to us <laughs> about this dynasty deep dive, like the rest of them. <clears throat> and we are going to listen in as there's some big changes coming, and there's some main things going on. So I'm going to pause it for two seconds. I want to go over this. So this is something I was talking about. 12-team playoff. Originally in, I don't even know if in 14, if I think it was still 14 playoff. Um, in past years, it's just been a 14 playoff. So the top four teams have gone in. Now, this year, they expanded. Now it's a 12-team playoff. So it's going to be a lot more fun, a lot, of, a lot more craziness um, to it. Recruiting, that's kind of similar, I think. I'm not really sure. We'll see. But uh, the transfer portal, it's a little different. There's some things going on now in real life that are now are impacting this as well. And the customization options, it that's just something new. Um, and it's going to be it's going to be awesome to be able to see all the things that you can do. Because there's so many different options for, um, for you to be able to make your own league, essentially. So here we go. The 12 team playoff format. And in EA Sports College Football 25, you can experience this new landscape while building your program the way you want. The 2024 season marks the debut of the new 12 team college football playoff. So this is this is what it would look like. So this is now what it what it will be looking like going into the this year this this football season coming up. This is what it looks like. And originally, like I said, it was only four teams. The top four battled it out. Now you get 12. So now some teams get the top four, get a bye. And now it should make it really fun. I'm excited. Um, I think in real life it's going to make this uh, college football a lot more entertaining. And for teams like Florida State this past year that got kind of screwed, <laughs> it should help them out a little bit. So you can make history. Make history with your school. And in a world of unlimited transfers, managing your dynasty roster has never been more important. Evaluate your needs and opportunities for talent upgrades at the start of each season. 
The best way to build a powerhouse is to recruit through the high school ranks. So let's fill up your recruiting board. Each year, over 3,500 high school recruits are generated from all over the country, with certain regions representing real-world hotspots for blue chip talent, like South Florida and Metro Atlanta. Do research to find recruits that best fit your program and determine who you can realistically land. That would be cool. A recruit's interest in your school is decided by 14 different pitch grades like proximity to home, hmm. playing time, and brand exposure. So you'll need to discover how your program's pitch grades align with your recruit's desires in addition to scouting for talent. That's a lot different than... Here, we're going to pause for a sec because I don't know what it's going to next. It looks like it's still going to go into... We'll keep playing for a second. Okay, I'm going to pause it for two seconds just to make it kind of so we can talk for a second. This is that's this is something that's new. This is in NCW 14. The way you recruited was not like this. You could recruit almost anyone and it's in NCW 14. You guys, if you watch anyone playing uh, Dynasty mode back then, you legit could recruit most people. Um, and it looks like now again they're taking real world um they're taking real world issues and we've seen like we've seen in real life people want to go to one school because of its location to where they live um in their home maybe they want to go to one school because of how good it is one school because of the cost one school because of the coaches or the playing style the stadium atmosphere, they, these are all things that we as humans, like, have motivation for. And it's really cool, to be honest, really cool to me, for me at least, to see now the game and eSports taking it up a notch. And now, instead of just going basic and giving us kind of just like the run-of-the-mill type recruitment um, system we've seen in the past, they're expanding on it and it looks i'm not gonna lie this looks fucking really cool i feel like this is gonna be a pain in the ass at the same time just because of all of the things that they could have motivation for um but again like like the like kirk said i almost forgot his name like kirk said you've gotta kind of align yourself with where you want to be do you want to focus on coaching your coaching staff and having a championship contender or do you care about playing style and um playing time like that type of thing so there's different things you're gonna looks like you, you're going to have to kind of mix and match maybe certain players pick one thing over the other um but this is all really cool and i think i find it even more amazing that they're using kind of real life locations not maybe real life um to a t but they're using a lot of hot spots that you do see players normally come from. Um, so we're going to go here now, just so we can hear. And this is cool too. And this is, this is again, this is something in your, I'm trying to get back, okay, I guess, whatever. Um, this is something you see in real life. Like, you see players or yeah players not wanting to go to a certain school because either their conference maybe where they're located like sometimes players don't want to go somewhere where it's hot all the time they'd rather go somewhere where it's colder um like like this one playing time it has they need a b minus they have a c plus like those are things i'm trying to get back to there we go no that's not what i want i want to want to I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull up there. Yeah, uh, I was trying to pull this up so you can see it in the big screen. But again, like things we need, and it looks like. So this is Mike. Mike. So this is this guy. He's quarterback, and it looks like yeah, he has deal breakers. Thing deal breakers. So the things he needs. Um, and it's just really cool because you see you can 
now like you can get a feel for these players and when it comes to the recruitment how it's going to kind of work out i think this is a good change um i think it's really really interesting to kind of maybe give us now like what it's like in the real world and not like just oh you're playing a video game i feel like that's kind of a little boring i guess um and easy to go by this time and you're maybe not gonna need me maybe not going to need to be an expert but you're definitely going to at least have an idea for what you uh, want to align yourself with That's awesome. Also drive a player's decision to enter the transfer form. Monitor at-risk players and get one last chance to convince your favorites to stay. Track your recruits as they narrow down their top schools. Get your prospect to gain more interest. And it seems set up school visits when the timing is right. It's crucial to remain in their top 10, then 8, then 5. To finally be part of their top three. As a recruit trims down to the top eight, you can attempt to increase your appeal. Huh. If your school doesn't have exactly what the prospect is looking for, oh, yeah. you can try to sway their opinion in your favor. <laughs> Elevate a recruit huh? experience. Wow. A quarterback visit with a wide receiver visit at the same time. It's crucial to keep an eye on the transfer portal when it opens in the offseason to round out your roster with talent you couldn't land from recruiting. Add portal prospects to your board just like you would with recruiting, but expect quick decisions as transfers have a shorter timeline to land yeah. a new home. Yeah. I'm going to pause it for just two seconds in there. I, I th want to talk about the transfer portal. I honestly think this is really... Again, this is cool. Like, this is cool. It's something that is a real-life thing. And if you got... If there's... This happens a lot with players. They might think their team is not, not going to give them the best chance to win. So then they go to another team for a year. Or another school for their senior year. Or something like that. They go to places where they think they might have a better chance of winning. And it's... It looks really cool to see that you can pr snipe, like legitimately, you can kind of snipe players from other teams that maybe were on a worse team, but he's a good player, and then you can bring them over to your team, um, and like you can see where they're from. That looks really cool. Um, their rating, and it's it, this all looks so really legit, and I'm I'm loving it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just loving it. And this was the last part. Customization. I'm gonna. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna pause it here, there for a second, because it looks like they're gonna go a little further into what the hell is that? Um, into the coaches. I think I just want to like talk about their realignment real oops, realignment real quick. This is something that I don't know if I'll do on my channel. Uh, I think I'm thinking I'm definitely gonna do a dynasty mode. I'm kind of in the works of figuring out how to move some stuff around on my channel um, so that I can do a dynasty mode because I would love to. One thing that is interesting to me though with this is it, how much ability you're gonna have to realign the conferences. If you're somebody that maybe isn't liking the uh, the Power Five conferences, getting conferences is getting them at teams they are, you can separate them again and put them back. You essentially you can make it so that they weren't even in the Power Five, uh, whatever new conference they were switch to you can put them back and i think that's really cool um again i won't do it on mine 
on video at least it probably i might do it once just add a video um but it does look cool it's it'll give a lot of people people that are creative um and people that do like to kind of customize and make leagues and conferences and all this kind of stuff it'll give them the ability to kind of make up their own thing maybe instead of by region they'll kind of <laughs> make it so that there's a top uh one top 20 in each conference type deal or something like that i don't know this honestly though it just kind of gives a lot of freedom to whoever wants to do this and i think it's really cool that they're doing that um and i'm really curious on youtube to see the different kind of like alignments that people make up because it, it i feel like it'll be really interesting um all right back to the coaches we can't talk about your dynasty without talking about your starting job start as an oh he is ripping his shirt <laughs> yeah ripping his shirt So it kind of seems like it, this kind of is giving Madden vibes where in franchise mode you can pick what type of coach you're going to start out as. Like it's, I think, a Mongol, a uh, fan favorite, uh, fan or previous fan, whatever it's called. Um, but there's like four or five things you can pick to kind of like give you advantages in certain areas. It looks like that's similar to here where you can pick a certain thing and it'll give you an advantage um, out the gate in one area and a lesser advantage in others, um, which it's cool to kind of see that happen here. Um, I think in, I honestly didn't think um, that you'd be able to do this in dynasty mode. I didn't get this far in the video, so I had no idea this even would be a thing. Um, but it's, it'll be, it'll be interesting and really cool. Cause now you have a lot more, uh, more uh, freedom to kind of do things differently um, and test new things and see what works, see what doesn't work. Uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's nice. I think they're doing a great job. Job security. Actually, I love this even more now. I honestly am going to pick head coach just so I can possibly fire somebody. I love it that this is job security is hot seat because clearly this team, Minnesota, in this whatever, sucks. Yeah, five. They're not bad, five and two, but like 11 and, 11 and 13. That's not good. You're on the hot seat. I can see that. That's awesome. Five and four versus top 25. Not bad. So it looks like it's the same thing for the coaches itself. This looks cool. Well, that was, I want to go back two, for two seconds, um, and I'll, I'll probably leave it on, like, this stuff at the end. I think it's really cool, though, that, like, you can, oh, not that, that you can, you take your coordinators and how, instead of just you, yourself, whatever position you are, if you're that coach, if you pick that coach up, I... I guess if you pick the coordinator, you don't get the option. But if you pick a coach, I think it's cool that you can actually get look at your coordinators and then align them that in that sense too. I didn't realize originally that they were going to even do that. I honestly, like when I first watched this, I completely missed this part. I kind of just <laughs> watched the first half and 
skipped ahead. Um, but I think this is really cool. It's going to give the whoever plays the ability to have a little freedom and you can change something or you can pick whatever works best for you and then same for the coordinators. If you're the head coach, now if you, like it, Kirk said, if you want to double down, you can double down and go for something that you really want or spread them out a little bit and make it more diverse. I'm not going to lie though. I'm still, I still, it cracks me up that this thing said, where was it? <laughs> still cracks me up that this like, hot seat for this Marshall. Oh my God. Yeah, he's in the hot seat. Seven and 17. He may need to go, but there you go. That's it. That is, um, <laughs> that's the dynasty mode deep dive trailer. I had a lot of fun doing this. The next time you see me, um, doing college football, 25 content, it will be this Friday in two days when I premiere gameplay of college football 25 on my channel. I'm going to set it up as a premiere. Um, I'm really excited. It's going to be a great time. I might start it out with a dynasty. I'm not sure yet. I got to kind of figure it out. But with all that said and done, hope you like this one. Comment down below if you agree with me and you think all this is really cool if you're digging dynasty mode if you're excited for it like i am or not comment down below if you're not let me know let me know if you got any issues with it let me know i'm always down to talk to y'all and have a conversation besides that though that's about it